It's Christmas morning. Five something, forty one. My wife's up. I can hear James is up. We usually keep him at bay until I can get in with a camera. So this is me going in with a camera. I don't like the sound of his coughing. He was getting better yesterday, but it's such a miserable wet day. We've got the kids staged around the corner. They're not allowed to come out until um, all the cameras are rolling and uh, they're all up and we're all up. And since 50% of the family is very sick and 25% of the family is recovering from sick and I'm trying to avoid being sick, um, it's a slow going morning. But it's almost here. You can hear the little feet sort of dancing up and down in anticipation around the corner, like little reindeer on the roof. Here you go. Merry Christmas. No one else can talk. I can. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see what that was. It's a hot topic gift card. A hot topic gift card. Well. Four. <laughs> we can't hear you. She said it's a guitar. Oh, it's a guitar. And look, it's right handed. <laughs> what the? Cecile! Ooh, Ooh chess chess. <laughs> yeah. And it's a chess log book. Okay, it's. It's David McCallum as the Invisible Man! Yes, it is. That's what it says on the back. I'm just checking on the front. That is cool. I haven't seen that show since the 1970s when it was canceled very rapidly. Is... Wow! Also, another one I didn't know was available on DVD. And that is... Robert Vaughn and Tony Anhold in The Protectors. A 1970s ITV... Uh, action adventure show with this woman who I don't know her name but Tony Anhol, Tony Verdeschi from Space 1999 and Robert Vaughn the man from uncle excellent thank you David all right this is from my dearest beloved she put it in a bag to make it easy for me because I'm old and feeble so I'm just gonna start off here with a little handy tip <clears throat> every year this is a little thing you can do at your house to, uh, to save money. So what you do is you get a pair of scissors and you take the tissue paper you get and if you'll cut it like this into strips, you can just wrap this around an old, like a, a save your toilet paper tubes and you can wrap it around those and you can get probably the first two or three weeks of the year using this for toilet paper and save yourself a little bit of money. So, oh. 
you just, you know, sometimes like the red, if you get brown tissue paper, that's the worst because you just, you don't know when you're done. But white is the best. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes uh, like yellow is, yellow is kind of sometimes hit and miss. But uh, red will work as long as you haven't been eating red velvet cake or have a serious bowel impairment. And then, oh, this is bad. Glitter, though. <laughs> Gl glitter, never use the... That goes in a different pile. You cannot use the glitter tissue. <laughs> Got more glitter tissue. Oh, good. There's some white tissue. And inside of it is some clothing of some kind, I think. And it is! Ow! Absolutely a Tom Baker fourth doctor scarf. Excellent. All right. I'm going to stand up now in case you need transition with the camera. See you all. That is 13 people. No. It's, it's about 10, which is still plenty. Let's see. You're tall enough. I'm from Arizona. I don't actually know how to wear a scarf. Okay, I think. Let's see. Well, Tom Baker scarf, you have to loop like this because it's, too it's too big. Well, I mean, it's not too big, but I mean, it's it's not wrapped around the neck closely. So you always do the thing where he tosses the. It's because he's. Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying. Excellent. I shall wear this all day today. Assuming it's not pouring out. <laughs> and that's why I don't wear neckties. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. One day, I should know that's the wrong doctor. doctor. Uh, it's time to reverse the polarity of the neutron flow. Oh, no, awesome. no, that's not the wrong doctor. Ah, human. Now I can't do. I can't do Tom Baker. Sorry. I cannot tell what this is based <coughs> on this. It's Star Trek related, mm. but it is black. What would that be? Black? Star Trek. Star Trek pants. It's Captain pants. Kirk's pants. Uh, excellent. Black pants. Everyone will go, oh, those are Star Trek pants. All right. Let's see. It is a... Whoa, it's not pants. It's not pants. It says NCC... So you can barely see it here in the dark. NCC 1701 on the back. Cool. That's very nice looking. Let's go start for boy. In the dark, it's embossed. Let's see it here. Cool. And it's not a hoodie. Thank you. <laughs> now, I hope these. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm not complaining, but I am gonna say this. If you had put the jacket on top of the scarf, then I would have taken the jacket out. Put it on, then put the scarf on. <laughs> but now, I'm going to have to take the jacket out, take the scarf off, take the jacket out, or as Michelle would say, out. I do not say that. You do. I do not. Mama, look. And how appropriate, I'm wearing a Star Trek shirt today <coughs> for Christmas because every day's Christmas in the Federation. I don't think that's how it works. You don't think that's how it works? I think that's how it works. <laughs> no, that's quite nice. And I'm sure if we did he knows, Captain Kirk would certainly have a Tom Baker scarf if that was available in the Enterprise gift shops. They have gift shops on the Enterprise? Well, they do on the the Doofy Enterprise, 1701D. But, uh, there we go. Excellent. <coughs> as pure a mismatch as it gets. <laughs> and it's... <laughs> it's... It's the Green Arrow! <laughs> Well, it's not even 7 in the morning yet on Christmas Day. 
Uh, for the first time ever, we tried a live stream of the uh, kids opening their major presents, uh, mostly for, uh, you know, overseas folks and uh, for family. And, uh, and then shortly thereafter, um, some utter claphead asshole uh, on the internet posted, not in direct relation to that, uh, don't, parents, don't show your children don't live stream your children opening presents. Show them love this morning, not the back of your phone. To which I told him to fuck off. Appropriately, I think. Boy. It's time. It's time for Doctor Who. It's been a year since Doctor Who has been on our TV screens. A year since there's been a new episode. And the last one wasn't that good. So, here we go. Chuan and Michelle are still quite sick. Uh, so they're home cooking dinner. That doesn't seem right, come to think of it. <laughs> but, I mean... <laughs> There you go. Anyway, <laughs> James and I have come to the park because we've heard that it is a Bulbasaur outbreak nest here. And indeed it is um, all over the place. And it's a nice day for it. Uh, sky is a little puffy, cloudy, and uh, we hopefully it won't get rainy again like it was yesterday. A bit chilly, but uh, I've got my Starfleet jacket on. And... Uh, we're uh, just catching those Bulbasaurs like crazy. Also, for some strange reason, the park is quite busy. I mean, apart from it being a day off and Sunday and stuff, but, but the biggest, by far the hugest crowd of people have taken over a whole section of the park. All of the men are wearing yarmulkes. I'm not sure what that says. I'm thinking they might be Jewish. Enjoying Christmas, that's very nice of them. I think that's, uh... There. There's my little Pikachu back there. Oh. <laughs> I should put him in a Christmas hat. Okay, somebody has a sense of humor. The person who designed this uh, Starfleet uh, jacket. Um, I don't know if you've heard the joke, but uh, one of the things that they uh, joke about is that Starfleet uniforms don't have pockets. And uh, this jacket has no pockets. <laughs> Which, when you want to put your hands in a pocket to keep your hands warm, uh, is not so good. <laughs> I'm sure that must be intentional. It has to be. Okay, somebody has a sense of humor. The person who designed this uh, Starfleet uh, jacket. Um, I don't know if you've heard the joke, but uh, one of the things that they uh, joke about is that Starfleet uniforms don't have pockets. And uh, this jacket has no pockets. <laughs> Which, when you want to put your hands in a pocket to keep your hands warm, uh, is not so good. <laughs> I'm sure that must be intentional. It has to be. It started, um, I think, Wednesday. James came down with a sore throat. And by Thursday, which was a half day at school, he couldn't make it through the whole day. And then Friday, Michelle had a sore throat. And Saturday, Chuan had the sore throat. And in each of them, it has progressed worse from that point on to a full blown cold and fever thing. And now, I'm beginning to notice it in my throat, too. I'm not particularly pleased about this. 